I want to try and fix this Logitech C922 webcam. Now, I use this for my live streams. This is the camera which I normally have pointing at my face. But I notice it's not right, so I'll show a demo next. Watch the demo. I've noticed a discrepancy between my webcams here. So I've got two Logitech cameras here, both C922s. I purchased them, I think, maybe at the same time, might have been slightly different times. And I've noticed a discrepancy between the video quality. I was playing with them just now, I was thinking, something doesn't look right. One camera looks better than the other. I'm going to show you. So right now I'm on the camera which I normally use on my desk view when I'm doing live streams. I've got that swung around sitting here, where well, almost where I'd normally have it. Let's turn on my face cam. There's face cam. Now I'm going to switch between the two cameras, the side by side on the shelf. Almost exactly the same positioning. It's obviously a bit hard to get right, but they're almost exactly the same. So I'm going to flip backwards and forwards between the two and check out the quality, All right, especially over here. See this? this is like blurry in this area. It's not very sharp. So I'm going to switch backwards and forwards. See this over here? You see the color changing? Colors look different. This one looks cleaner. This one looks much better. This one looks all washed out and blurry. See? So this camera has an issue. I'm going to pull it apart and see if I can fix it. So let's pull this thing apart. Now I've seen it on other YouTube videos of people pulling apart a C920, which has a focusing issue. I'm guessing this is exactly the same. The construction looks basically identical. So I'm going to do that, pull it apart, and we'll do a comparison again afterwards to see if it's any better. Let's get it apart. Also don't forget to click like and subscribe if you like the video. Right, let's get in here and try and pull these out. Now there's some screws underneath here which will free up these. We can then prise these off and then there's some screws behind here which allows to get the, the lens cover assembly off. Alright so let's try and get in here with these tweezers first. See if we can get behind this rubber membrane here. There we go. There's one. Stick this on something so I don't lose them. Well, there's a plastic membrane behind it, so the screws are hidden behind that. So I'll get both rubber assemblies off first. I'm trying to be careful not to rip them or anything like that, because I would like to reinstate it back to original. Okay, that one. Now this one's going to be a bit tricky to get underneath, so I need to get some sharper tweezers. No, I've got some rubbishy ones here, so aren't very good. See if these will work. See if these can get underneath it. I was about to get my better tweezers. This does not want to come off. Let's get my better tweezers. Here we go. I'm not even focus on my camera, am I? Look at that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll get under there. So that's that one's starting to come up. There we go. There's the screws. Do the same this side. Right, let's get these screws out. The only problem with working on things which are black <laughs> makes it really hard to see what's going on. Anyway. So the screws out. Now we've got to leave these out. So one thing I should also mention, before you pull this thing apart, make sure your camera is actually clean, right? So make sure there's no fingerprints or, or smudges running across the lens, because it could just be your camera's dirty, right? Always rule that out first. Obviously I would have done that to make sure that wasn't what the problem was. Anyway. Come on, spudger. It's trying to get in there. It's kind of lifting up. Here's the metal one. Now we've got a slight gap. Ugh. <laughs> a cheap metal one. <laughs> right. There'd be a way of getting these out properly. There's probably like little clips somewhere. There we go. On the top edge. Yep, clip it on the top edge. That's got to leave the top edge out. So there we go. Do the same with this side. So now I know where the clip is. Let's shove the metal spudger in there and try and pop that out like that. Here we go. Sweet. Now we've got those other screws in there. Let's get these screws out. These are a little bit tighter. 
Don't mix up the first screws, they could be different. In fact, they likely are different, they're probably longer. Also, once you get this piece out, you have to be careful not to introduce any dust. You know, make sure it's a clean environment you're doing this in, you know, make sure there's no hairs drop into it or anything like that. These little screws, they are indeed different from the first lot. So here's the lens assembly, or the cover assembly, which looks spotless on the inside. And there's the lens. Here it is. So this, the uh, apparent fix for this is to rotate the lens about a quarter of a turn or so. Because the auto focusing on stuff is uh, misaligned. So we'll get in here and give it a turnaround and hopefully get that fixed. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, like I said before. So let's give us a quarter turn. Sometimes they're glued, sometimes they're not. This is actually quite wobbly in there. It's floating. Interesting. Anyway, can you see that floating around here? It's probably your uh, focusing mechanism anyway. Let's give it a turn. Quarter turn, so that's where these are. They're slightly diagonal, so I'm going to try and replicate that again by one quarter turn around. I'm going to talk quarter turn clockwise. Sometimes they're glued, sometimes they're not apparently, so give it a quarter turn about there. Right, that's it. So now let's just uh, reverse the process and put it back together again. Pretty simple. Then we'll try it out and see if it actually works. It should have done. I hope it's done, but uh, we'll find out. It's interesting how the colour was slightly off though. That's the, uh, that's the slightly weird part about that thing. Is the colour being off? Because I wouldn't have expected the colour to be off because of focusing problems, but who knows, maybe. So if this fixes your problem, if you do this to your camera, then don't forget to uh, share the video to your friends or social media or whatever. And uh, give me a like as well. If you like the video, then that helps my channel. Now I'll test it before I put the little sticky bits back on again, just in case there's a problem. Then it's not too much effort to disassemble it and uh, correct anything, but it seems to me this is a fairly common problem with these cameras where the uh, focus has not been set correctly from the factory. Right, let's hook this out and try it out. Right, let's try this out. I'll be honest, I put it back together, tried it, it was much worse. Pulled it apart again, and now left it apart, and now I've tweaked it in position, right? So I had it sitting up here where it is, and I've adjusted it in position here to get the best effect. So this, so you can actually do this whilst it's on and working and work. So I've actually just tweaked it, and what I found is that, that quarter turn I did was actually too much. I had to bring it right back. And all I actually do is, I only turned it probably an eighth of a turn from where it was originally, to get to the position I'm in now. So, let's have a look. There we go. So this is the face cam, which as you can see the colour is slightly different. Alright, so that's the desk cam, which I normally have. You can see the purples are a bit stronger and the colours are just a bit stronger on it. And this one here, a bit more subdued. Alright, it's a bit more pink in this one, compared to this one. Alright, so this is the face cam I'm on now. But you can see the background here, that is actually looking pretty good. Alright, that sharpness there. And if I go back to the desk cam, it's actually blurrier. So before, this one was better. And now, this one is better. So I think I actually need to do the same thing with my desk cam as well. They both need it, it would seem. This has always been a problem with this, trying to get the thing to focus on something. Once it's got a focus, it tends to hang on to it. So we'll still focus there. Right, right up to the camera. Anyway. That's always been a problem trying to get that working, but this is looking good. Let's sit back a bit and just watch over there because hopefully the focus has changed a bit from me being over there now. So that is still sharper. You have to excuse the shaking, the washing machine's on, and it makes the floors vibrate a little bit. Wooden house. New Zealand problems. So, yes, although the colour's slightly better on this one, this one's sharper. And it looks like it's pretty good here too. Yeah, even here, look at my face here, compared to this one, this one looks slightly sharper as well. Yeah, excellent. It worked. Thumbs up, subscribe, catch you later.